This is session one, tuning in with active listening. This afternoon, we are going to be doing a demonstration of role play scenarios, demonstrating some basic skills with the interviewing process. So Michaela is gonna be our social worker and Oasis is gonna be our student and they're going to do a mock scenario demonstrating active listening skills. One skill that I want you to be aware of is called SOLAR, and that is an acronym. It stands for sitting squarely, that's the S. O stands for open posture. L is leaning in. E is eye contact, and R is relaxing. So they're going to show how not to do this in real life. So we're gonna have a what not to do first. It's gonna make it a little more fun. And then we'll show what to do next. <sighs> Sup, Oasis? What's going on? What do you want to talk about this week? Uh, so I'm, I'm actually really homesick. Um, this is my first year here, and like I, I just miss my family. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, um, yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm just sometimes like at night I'll cry. Because I just, I want to go back home. Yeah, I mean, this, I mean, the first year, this is just always, I mean, I remember I would always cry and, yeah, it's really, really hard. Yeah. So, um, like, I, I, my mom and my dad were really important to me, and so, like, not seeing them is kind of rough on me, so... Yeah, so do you miss your mom more or your dad? I miss them both. Just just both of them, the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh man, those first few weeks. I think everyone struggles with that. It's pretty Is common. There's, like, how can you help me? Um, well, you know, maybe, let's see. So tell me about who, do you have any friends here yet? No. So you, you haven't really made any friends on your hall or anything? No, not, not yet. I like, I have a roommate, but she's kind of weird, so. Hmm. Well, uh, what about, do you have, do you go to church here? Do you, are you involved I, in any activities? I don't have a church yet because I've only been here like two weeks. Okay. Hmm. Well, you could maybe try like sitting. Okay, everybody. I think I can't take it any longer. <laughs> Basically, you can definitely see what we don't want to have in an interview. So hopefully you noticed, Michaela, her body posture was not um, very open. She had her legs crossed, her arms crossed. She would sit back and um, she wasn't even looking at Oasis very much of the time. So we definitely want to learn to be intentional about tuning in. So for this next scenario, we're gonna do the same thing over again, but we're gonna show what to do. And we're gonna make use of a skill called minimal encouragers. We're gonna try not to overuse these minimal encouragers. These are things like mm-hmm or okay or right. Um, a nodding of our heads. We're going to try and show how that can be used effectively but not overused, as well as using good solar. And Michaela is going to show how to paraphrase and get more information without even having to use very many questions at all. So let's try this again and see if it's better. Hi, Oasis. It's good to see you this week. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Um, what brings you here today? What would you like to talk about? Well, um, I've been just experiencing some feelings of homesickness. It's, it's my first couple weeks here at Liberty and, and I just, I kind of miss home. I want to go home. Yeah, the first few weeks can be really hard. Yeah. What are you missing most about home? Um, uh, my mom and dad are really important to me, and so I definitely miss them being around and, and having someone to talk to. Mm. So it sounds like family 
you must be really close with your parents and um, it sounds like it's hard not having them here. Yeah, it definitely is. It's, it's very different. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how, how you experience your homesickness? Um, a lot of times I just wind up crying at night um, just because I'm really lonely and I haven't made a lot of friends here yet. It sounds like you're mostly experiencing the loss of um, your family being here and maybe grief is what you're feeling a lot of. Yeah, it, it feels like a part of me isn't here anymore. Mm. Are you, it sounds like maybe you're feeling a little bit lonely. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't really know anyone. My roommate, she's kind of in and out and I haven't really gotten to know her yet. Yeah. That can be really difficult when you don't have the people that you're used to seeing every day here with you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. <laughs> well, hopefully that was much better. I thought so from my viewpoint. Um, you could see that Michaela had a much more relaxed, open body posture, and you can could really tell that Oasis felt very comfortable sharing, and she could tell just you could see through her nonverbals that she was um, feeling listened to. I also really liked that Michaela nodded her head, but not too often, and um, would say, okay, she used sounds like and tell me more about um, those kind of phrases that would just get Oasis to open up. So that was great. Thank you, ladies.